Come, O ye faithful, let us glorify the descent of the Holy Spirit, who poured forth upon the apostles from the bosom of the Father, covered the earth with the knowledge of God as with waters, doth account those who come to him in purity worthy of the divine adoption of life great, life-bearing grace, and does sanctify and deify those who cry. Come, Come thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and, and make thine abode within us. In radiant choirs the angels in heaven unceasingly chant glory to the Holy Spirit as immaterial light and the source of life, and with them we also glorify thee, O unapproachable Spirit, for thy manifest and hidden mercies, and we humbly entreat thee to overshadow us with thy blessing. Come, O light of truth and spiritual joy, come to laden cloud and ineffable beauty, come and accept our praise like incense of sweet savor, come and grant that we may taste the joy of thine outpouring, Come and gladden us with the abundance of thy gifts. Come, O eternal, never-setting sun, and make thy dwelling place within us. Come, thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. In the form of tongues of fire, amid light and of rushing, stormy wind, the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles, wherefore, enveloped in his flames, the fishermen summoned the whole world to the church of Christ, and joyfully enduring tribulations on dry land and on the waters, they were undaunted by cruel deaths, and all throughout the world went the, forth the proclamation of their divinely beauteous hymn, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O Holy Spirit of God, Thou cup giving rise to dew and emitting fire, poured forth upon the apostles in the upper chamber on Zion, we hymn Thee, we bless Thee, and we give thanks unto Thee. Come thou who dost sanctify and preserve the church. Come and grant one heart and one soul to thy faithful. Come and inflame our cold and barren piety. Come and dispel the darkness of ungodliness and impiety, which does thicken us over all the earth. Come and lead us to the path of correction of life. Come and guide us to every truth. Come, unapproachable wisdom, and by the judgments which thou knowest, save us. Come, thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. O mystery most profound, O attainable Spirit of God, who with the Father and the Word art the Creator of all, Thou hast adorned the ranks of angels on high in the temple of unapproachable light. The choirs of fiery luminaries thou hast called into being with the majestic, with the majesty of glory and uniting flesh with spirit in lowly the union. Thou didst create the human race. Wherefore, everything that hath breath doth sing thy praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thou, O Eternal Spirit, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, didst enliven all beings and all things by thine awesome envelopment and the formless power of the midst over the waters. By thy life-bearing breath, out of the formless abyss, Thou didst produce the ineffable beauty of pristine creation. Wherefore, we cry out to Thee. Come unto us, O all-wise fashioner of the world. Come, O great one, who art present in a little flower and a star of heaven. 
Come, O ineffable variety and eternal beauty, come and bring light to the dark chaos of my soul. Come and reveal us to be a new creation in Christ. Come, Thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make Thine abode within us. O unattainable and all good spirit, thou source of sanctity, thou didst clothe the all, clothe the all pure Virgin Mary in the blinding and unapproachable radiance of thy divinity, making her the mother of God, the word, the queen of the angels, the salvation of men. With thy transcendent power, thou didst overshadow the prophets and the apostles and dost raise them up to the third heaven and dost wound their hearts with celestial beauty, instilling in their speech a fiery urgency that leadeth people to God. Thou dost seek out the uttermost sinners, and filled with burning ecstasy, they chant Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. By the Holy Spirit is every soul enlivened, and by his power, Will all created beings be raised up in the fellowship of the resurrection at the final hour of the sage, and the first of that which is to come? Then do thou also raise us up from our graves, O good comforter, not unto damnation, but to the divinely radiant blessedness of all the saints, our friends and kinsmen. Come and deliver us from spiritual death. Come and before our end, satisfy us with the body and blood of Christ the Savior. Come and grant that we may fall asleep in peace, our conscience clean. Come and make radiant our awakening from the sleep of death. Come and vouchsafe that we may gaze with joy upon the morning of eternity. Come and make us children of incorruption. Come and like the sun, enlighten our bodies which will be the, then be mortal. Come, thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. Hearing thee say, If any thirsteth, let him come to me and drink. We beseech thee, O Son of God, quench thou our thirst for the spiritual life, and grant us the water of life. Pour forth a stream of grace upon us from the Holy Spirit, who is thy peer, that we may never again thirst, but may chant with compunction. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O incorrupt and uncreated, eternal and compassionate Spirit, preserver of the righteous and cleansing of sinners, free us from all impure deeds, that the radiance of the light of grace may not be extinguished within us who cry out to Thee. Come, O Blessed One, and grant us compunction and a fountain of tears. Come and teach us to worship Thee in spirit and in truth. Come, O Thou who art truly Most High, and make clear the doubts of our feeble minds. Come, O Life who groweth not old, and accept us with the brevity of this earthly age. Come, O eternal light, and dispel our forebodings and fears. Come, O power, who art eternally transcendent, and refresh thy children who are weak. Come, O endless joy, and passing misfortunes will be forgotten. Come, Thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. Dance thou, O Holy Mother of Zion, Daughter of the Light, O Universal Church of Christ, thou great bride, adorn thyself like unto the sky, brilliant with radiance, 
the Holy Spirit breathes death on thee, healing the infirm, filling those who lack, giving life to the dead, and leading to eternal life all who rightly cry out as is meet. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the world there will be sorrow, says the Lord. Where shall we find joy? And who will comfort us? Do thou assuage our griefs? Be thou a mediator for us with thine ineffable inspirations? Enlighten the hearts of those who pray to thee. Come, Come sweet coolness of those who labor and are heavy laden. Come converse with the imprisoned in support of the persecuted. Come and have pity on those worn out by poverty and hunger. Come and cure the sufferings of our souls and bodies. Come and visit all who thirst for thine effulgence. Come and make sense of our sufferings with hope of joy everlasting. Come, thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. He who blasphemeth against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven in this age or in that which is to come, said the Lord. Hearing this dread pronouncement, we tremble, lest we be condemned with those who disobey thee and contend against God. Grant that our hearts not be inclined toward the words of wickedness, O Holy Spirit. All who stray, do thou turn away from schisms, heresies, and ungodliness, and grant that with the true, with the church of thy firstborn, we may chant forever. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. When the Holy Spirit departed from Saul, fear and despondency overtook him, and the darkness of despair cast him down into the uttermost depths. Thus do I also, in the hour of my despair and affliction, understand that I have fallen away from thy light. But grant that I may call upon thee with urgency, O joy of my soul, until thy light will illumine me, who am of little faith. Come, therefore, and reject me not for my complaining and impatience, Come and still the cruel tempests of turmoil and vexation. Come and calm those beset by the misfortunes of life. Come and soften hearts when they have become hard and wrathful. Come and break the snares of tribulation and the terror of the spirits of darkness. Come and breathe into us a contrite spirit that in patience we may save our souls. Come, Thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make Thine abode within us. Save us, O Heavenly Father, poor and destitute are we, spiritually blind and naked. Grant us Thy gold, which hath been purified by fire. Cover our shame with white raiment, Heal our eyes with thine anointing. Let the grace of thy life-creating spirit descend upon the unclean vessels of our souls and give birth to those who chant Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Like the Tower of Babylon is earthly happiness destroyed. Pitiful are the undertakings of men. It is good that thou hast humbled me, that amid my sins and falls thou hast revealed to me that I am utterly weak and of no account. Without thee we can, we can accomplish not, but by thy grace we hope to be saved. Come therefore, O only wise arranger of our life, Come and make clear to us thine unfathomable ways. Come like lightning and illumine the end of our earthly existence. 
Come and bless our every good undertaking. Come and be thou our helper in good deeds. Come and enlighten our minds in times of doubt. Come and grant us the spirit of repentance, that we may thus escape the tribulation which will befall the world. Come thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, who became man through the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, stretched out his creative hands upon the cross, and by his blood redeemed the whole world from sin and death. Wherefore, all creation, awaiting the freedom of glory of the children of God, doth chant to the beloved Father, the redeeming Son, and, sanctifi and the sanctifying Spirit. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The life-creating Spirit, who descended like a dove upon Christ in the Jordan, rested also upon me in the font of baptism, but the effect of his goodness hath weakened because of the darkness of my falls into sin. Wherefore, as a traveler lost in the forest at night doth wait for the light, so do I await thy rays, O good one, lest I perish utterly. Come therefore unto me who have been sealed with thine awesome name. Come and enlighten my tormented conscience, which is pitilessly scorched. Come and renew in me thy darkened image. Come and dispel sinful visions. Come and teach me to pity the woes of others. Come and move to me to love for thine every creature. Come and grant me the joy of thy salvation. Come, come thou, o Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. The Holy Spirit giveth new birth unto life eternal. The Holy Spirit inspireth martyrs, sanctifieth priests, and crowneth the righteous. He maketh bread and wine, the divine body and blood. O oh, the depth of richness and wisdom of God, grant us the crown of thy gifts, all forgiving, everlasting love, which hath compassion for enemies and desireth that all be saved, that illumined thereby, as children of the light, we may chant Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Who can separate us from the love of God? Can tribulation, or imprisonment, or persecution, or starvation, or nakedness, or misfortune, or the sword? Even if we are bereft of everything on earth, we have in heaven an inheritance that will not wither away. But grant, O Lord, that we may love thee, not with word or tongue, but with incorrupt works and the struggles of our whole life. Come, O Almighty Spirit, and increase for us the faith that prevaileth over all. Come and grant us boldness in prayer. Come and warm thou our hearts, that our love not grow cold within us because of the abundance of our iniquities. Come and grant that we may not fall away in time of persecution and the mockery of the faith. Come and preserve us from temptations and trials beyond our strength. Come and refresh our hearts with the sprinkling of thy dew. Come heal, sanctify, and raise us up, O good one, by thy grace. Come, thou comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. Thus saith the Lord, I will pour forth my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters will prophesy, 
Your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. O Spirit, most desired, grant if but a crumb from the table of the chosen children of thy consolation unto us who cry out in compunction. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If even but for a brief instant, like a flash of lightning thou shineth forth in the hidden depths of the soul, yet unforgettable is the outpouring of thine effulgence, whereby our nature of clay is transformed by the awesome and deifying change. Wherefore, O good Comforter, vouchsafe that even in this earthly life we may look to thee with a pure heart and cry out. Come, blaze lightning, flash of eternity, Come and illumine us with thy never-waning radiance. Come, treasury of humble-mindedness and gladness of the meek. Come, O living water, and cool us amid the burning heat of the passions. Come, for apart from thee there is no joy and rest. Come, for with thee the kingdom of heaven is everywhere. Come and set upon our souls thy sun-like seal. Come, thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. O Holy Spirit, thou inexhaustible river of grace, absolver of sins, accept our supplications in behalf of the whole world, for those who believe and those who do not, and also for children of perdition, and lead all to the eternal kingdom of the Holy Trinity, that through thee death the ultimate enemy may be abolished and the world reborn, through purifying fire, may chant the new hymn of immortality, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In spirit I behold the city of God, the heavenly Jerusalem, like a bride all adorned, shining like the sun triumphant. I hear the celebrations of the righteous at the banquet of the Lord, and the voices of angels, and the Lord most splendid in the midst of his elect. And sickness and grief and sighing are fled away. O Holy Spirit, thou King of heaven, Grant thy sevenfold gifts, that we may also have a share of the everlasting joy of those who in God cry out to thee thus. Come, O good one, and instill in us a thirst for life beyond the grave. Come and warm in our souls the expectation of life of the age of truth. Come and reveal to us the joys of the kingdom which is to come. Come and invest us with the snow-white garment of purity. Come and fulfill us with the radiance of God. Come and escort us to the wedding of the Lamb. Come and grant that we may reign in thine everlasting glory. Come, thou comforter. Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. O life-creating Spirit, thou radiant abyss of saving love, by the breath of thine indwelling thaw the human race, which is frozen in iniquities. By the power of thine unapproachable judgments, pass the destruction of evil, and reveal the eternal triumph of divine justice. May God be all things in all men, and let every knee bend in heaven, on earth, and in nether regions, chanting Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O life-creating Spirit, thou radiant abyss of saving love, by the breath of thine indwelling thaw the human race, which is frozen in iniquities, 
by the power of thine unapproachable judgments, hasten the destruction of evil, and reveal the eternal triumph of divine justice. May God be all things and all men, and let every knee bend in heaven, on earth and in the never regions, chanting Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O life-creating Spirit, thou radiant the base of saving love, by the breath of thine indwelling thaw the human race, which is frozen in iniquities. By the power of thine unapproachable judgments, hasten the destruction of evil, and reveal the eternal triumph of divine justice. May God be all things in all men, and let every knee bend in heaven, on earth, and in the nether regions, chanting Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In radiant choirs the angels in heaven unceasingly chant glory to the Holy Spirit as immaterial light and the source of life and which and with them we also glorify thee. O unapproachable Spirit, for thy manifest and hidden mercies, and we humbly entreat thee to overshadow us with thy blessing. Come, O light of truth and spiritual joy, come, dew laden cloud and ineffable beauty, come and accept our praise like incense of sweet savor, come and grant that we may taste the joy of thine outpouring. Come and gladden us with the abundance of thy gifts. Come, O eternal and never setting sun, and make thy dwelling place in us. Come, thou, o Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make thine abode within us. Come, all ye faithful, let us glorify the descent of the Holy Spirit who poured forth upon the apostles from the bosom of the Father, covered the earth with the knowledge of God as with waters, doth account those who come to him in purity worthy of the divine adoption of life-bearing grace and doth sanctify and deify those who cry. Come, Thou, O Comforter, Holy Spirit, and make Thine abode within us. O Holy Spirit, who fillest the whole universe with Thyself and givest life unto all, and who withdrawest from defiled men, I humbly entreat Thee, Disdain not the impurity of my soul, but come and make thine abode within me, and cleanse me from all defilement of sin, that with thy help I may live out the remaining time of my life in repentance, and doing the good works, and thus glorify thee with the Father and the Son unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.